Hi, hello students. Welcome back to our channel. This is Bhaskar Bura. We are discussing 5th chapter quadratic equation from 10th class mathematics. As in the part of this chapter, we are discussing about method of completing square for obtaining the solution of a quadratic equation. In our previous video, we have been discussed example 6th problem from textbook. Now today, let us see the next example problem that is example 7. Find the roots of 4x square plus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 by the method of completing the square. So here the given quadratic equation is 4x square plus 3x plus 5 equals to 0. Now we need to find the solutions or the roots of this quadratic equation by using the method of completing the square. So in this method, first what we have to do? We have to see whether the x square coefficient is 1 or not. Now see, what is the x square coefficient? It is 4. So here the coefficient of x square is not equals to 1. So hence, first we have to make the x square coefficient as 1. So for that what we have to do here? We need to divide the entire equation by 4 so that we get the x square coefficient as 1. So let us divide with 4 on both sides of this equation. So we can write 4x square plus 3x plus 5 by 4 equals to 0 by 4. Now this can be written as 4x square by 4 plus 3x by 4 plus 5 by 4 equals to 0 by 4 equals to 0. Now here on the left hand side in the first term we can cancel 4 and 4. So we get x square plus 3 by 4 x plus 5 by 4 equals to 0. So now we get the x square coefficient as 1. So after getting the x square coefficient as 1, next what we have to do? We have to transpose the constant term to right hand side. So here what is the constant term? That is 5 by 4. So let us transpose 5 by 4 to the right hand side. So by transposing we get on the left hand side we have x square plus 3 by 4 x equals to if we transpose plus 5 by 4 to the right hand side we get minus 5 by 4. Now we transpose the constant term to right hand side. Next what we have to do? We have to make the LHS part as a perfect square. So to make LHS part as a perfect square what we have to do? We have to add 1 by 2 into b by a whole square term on both sides of this equation. So let us find out the 1 by 2 b by a whole square term. So 1 by 2 b by a whole square equals to 1 by 2 into b by a. Here what is b by a here? We have 3 by 4. So substitute in the place of b by a 3 by 4. So we get 1 by 2 into 3 by 4 whole square. And by simplifying inside the bracket, we get 1 by 2 into 3 by 4 equals to 3 by 8, 3 by 8 whole square. So this is the term that we have to add on both sides of this equation so that we get the LHS part as a perfect square. So let us add 3 by 8 whole square on both sides of this equation. By adding, we get x square plus 3 by 4 x plus what is the other, what is the term that we are adding 3 by 8 whole square so plus 3 by 8 whole square equals to on the right hand side what we have minus 5 by 4 minus 5 by 4 next this side also we have to add 3 by 8 whole square term so plus 3 by 8 whole square now we added 3 by 8 whole square on both sides of this equation now if you see the LHS spot, it is clearly in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square which is equals to a plus b whole square. And here in the place of a we have x and in the place of b we have 3 by 8. So this can be written as x plus 3 by 8 whole square which is equals to minus 5 by 4 plus and 3 by 8 whole square is equals to 9 by 64. So now we get x plus 3 by 8 whole square equals to minus 5 by 4 plus 
9 by 64. Now let us simplify the RHS part. So for that if we observe these two rational numbers here, the denominators are different. So in the first we have 4 as the denominator and in the second term we have 64 as the denominator. And we know 64 is the multiple of 4. So we can convert this 4 into 64 by multiplying this denominator with 16 since 4 16 is the 64. So to make the denominators equal let us multiply the first rational number with 16. So by multiplying we get minus 5 into 16 by 4 into 16 plus 9 by 64. In the next step we can write minus 5 into 16 equals to minus 80 by 64 plus 9 by 64. Now we get the denominator equal so that we can add the numerators. So here minus 80 plus 9 equals to minus 71 by 64. Now what we get x plus 3 by 8 whole square equals to minus 71 by 64. And here if you observe this equation on the left hand side we have perfect square and on the right hand side we have a negative number. So here what we get the square of a real number is equals to a negative number. We know that square of any real number cannot be negative but here we get the square of real number is negative which is not possible. So hence in this situation we say that we can say that there are no real solutions for x since here we get the square of a real number as negative which is not possible to any real number. So here the given quadratic equation cannot be have a real solutions. So this is the solution for seventh problem and uh, let us meet in our next video with the next problems in this chapter. Till then bye. Thank you.